Hey, what's up guys? It's Blind Run. Blind Run. Apparently I can't pronounce my own name that I named myself. Uh, with Son of a Tech. And today, uh, I did a couple, I did a twi- Oh god, if this video is not showing again, I'm gonna have a fit, guys. I'm gonna have a fit. This... So... This, the only problem with this system is that, uh, it really, really, really doesn't like to play kindly with the Elgato. Um, so I did a Twitter poll. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at son of a tech. And the poll was, which, uh, was what we were going to live stream tonight. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out why it broke. Um... And the decision was to test the RX 460. So what's up, guys? Graphics, the gamer dog. Thanks for being here. Or gamer Doug. Gamer Doug. Sorry. Uh, let me see. Yep. There's nothing. Nothing going through at all. All right. Well, let's uh, let's bounce the system. See if it comes online. I believe I plugged. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, make sure you guys plug the PCIe power in. There we go. All right, it's coming up right now. First time you've ever caught a live stream. Well, I typically live stream on twitch.tv slash son of a tech underscore. Link should be in the description, I believe. So head on down there to pick that up and come follow me over there because that's where I stream every night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern, and uh, was at 7 p.m. Pacific. So there you go. Uh, system's coming up now. We have the Sapphire Nitro, a link to it, so you know which one it is, is in the description below as well. It's the Sapphire Nitro RX 460 4 gigabyte. And we're going to see how it performs in various algos that you guys want it to be performing in and then we'll then we'll go from there so I think we're gonna start off with Ethereum because I already have Claymore downloaded so that makes that easy and then uh, we'll start building out a couple more miners for tests for different uh, coins that sounds good to you guys All right, there we go. Okie dokie, coming up now. Alejandro, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Good to see you here. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a new folder and call it RX 464 gigabyte. And then we're gonna go grab GPU Z real quick as well. Say hi from Buenos Aires, Aries. I have very, very poor Spanish skills. Actually, very poor, poor skills in pretty much any foreign language. I wish I was better. Who's excited for 10K Bitcoin? Hell yeah, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, right? Welcome to, welcome to the stream. I have my handy dandy monster in hand, so that should be good. And now we have GPU Z, so as you guys can see here above my head. Oh, let me fix this too. That's a little better. Uh, we got the Radeon RX 460 and four four gigabytes of memory. It's the Micron, so we don't we didn't get lucky with Samsung. So 
it is what it is. The GPU clock's at 1250. Uh, the memory is at 1750 right now. Let's we'll see where that sticks around, of course. And there are all the details there. I'm going to place it like there. At idle, we're at, well, let's see. At idle, we're at about 80 watts on the kilowatt right now. And the Claymore. Oh, I think I have it downloaded though. Here we go. So I'm going to extract this on over to our Claymore folder. Uh, Nemesis, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? 1070 Ti is the best all around GPU for mining. Agree? No, not really. Uh, 10. 70s perform about the same. There's no real reason to grab the 1070 Ti, in my humble opinion. And then, right now, because of the pricing, that's not always true. It's gonna. Do, it also depends on what algo you want to do, and so on and so forth. But I would pro. Oh, this is a tar. What the hell? I accidentally downloaded out of habit the Linux version. <laughs> let me let me go grab the proper proper version for Windows. That would be good. Hey YouTube watcher, I'm glad you liked my thumbnail. I figured it would be a fun thumbnail to make. Besides, we got to win that thumbnail competition. We got to win it. We got to do it. That doesn't seem right. Is it 10? I thought the Claymore was all the way, all the way up to like 11. Or, oh, they did remediate it. That's fine. This will work. <sighs> I don't think the 1070 Ti would be better resale value than the 1070. I don't think it's that much better in gaming to, to even justify that. I wouldn't buy a 1070 Ti for gaming either. And I'm a pretty hefty gamer and PC modder. I'm going to pull all these out to the There we go. I feel better with that. Uh. Hit UFD over the head with a Vega. Awesome thumbnail. If I could get him to while he's licking it, while he's trying to lick it, hold it away from him and then in the next clip pop Bop. 1070 is efficient at 70 TDP. 1070 is a pretty good mining card. Hey man, do you have a video on managing heat in apartment room? Temps out here in LA are getting crazy in apartment. Uh, no. In a room, uh, there's a couple options. The problem is you're in, a, in an apartment, which means you're not going to have the option of necessarily drilling holes in your ventilation system or anything like that in the in the actual apartment itself um, depending on if you have a window and such you could seal off the window and put a box and essentially create yourself like a, a window unit for lack of a better term 
and then have the uh, just have a have an intake and then have a box fan that blows sucks the air out to the outside of the room that's what I would do uh, I have kind of something over here but I can't I don't really know if I could show it properly Uh, did he never fix that? I need to get on his ass. I bet you. I uh, should be number one. Hell yeah. I just need all of this. Tech Baron, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? You have a balcony door in the office? Yeah, so if you could put, I don't know if you could put a dog door in there or something, but the equivalent, something the equivalent of that size might work. Super loud Raptor drives. Yeez. I have a Raptor drive over here. It's pretty loud, not going to lie. I would, I believe you. So, provided this should be all set right, so let's see what we're getting stock on this. I've never had 15k SAS running in an environment where I would do that. I don't know if I, yeah, that should be right. This should allow it through. All right, so stock, we're looking at 11.46 and 163 watts. So take, take 160 minus one or minus 80. We're looking at about 80 watts. GPU Z power draw is saying about 60 watts. So maybe some of that binded to the. Well, maybe that CPU has it binding to it. So let's save this. And then let's go ahead and 
cancel it. Well, we should be able to tweak it while we have it open. Let's see. Ooh, it did not like that. I only went 50 up. There it goes up to 1800 now. All right, let's crank the fans up then. Maybe we're having a fan issue here, or maybe we need some more voltage. Give me more voltage. getting worse and worse. Ah! <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to do that, but I wanted to try. Well, no, that's really weird. It looks like we'd have to actually get in there and flash the BIOS to really change anything on ETH. Why would only going up, why would going up 50 on this decrease the hash rate? It's odd. Undervolting just means you undervolt the cards. Uh, so it really depends on what you're trying to do. I mean, you're going to lower your hash rate a little bit, but there's a balance. It's all a balancing act. King Cobra. Bitcoin almost at 9,900 again. Woohoo! <laughs> we could go try to find a, a random ETH flash, though. But I don't really want to do that because I want to test the rest of these algos before we fuck around with that, to be honest with you. Because if we flash it for the ETH algo, we're going to be... We'd have to reflash it every time. We'd have to flash it again. So, I think we're going to leave it at that, to be honest with you. Because even going plus 50 damaged it. 
hurt the hash rate too much. 11.5 mega hash a second on ETH. Let's leave it at that and grab some more miners. Well, we already have Crypto Knight ready, so we can do that real quick. I believe we already have it on here. Yeah, we will need to flash though. That is for sure. To I think if there's even, I wonder if anybody even has an RX four sixty four gigabyte, four gigabyte. I wish they had a six gigabyte. That would have been sick. Uh, four gigabyte Micron Ethereum BIOS. I don't know. I'm just trying random shit. That's a 470. This is the one we're running right now. Do they run small or is large actually large? So I don't know. They're the Gildian or whatever. Um, I should ask Dane. That's what I should do for you. Because Dane would probably, he has one. I believe he has a larger and extra large and he's a bigger guy for me I think I'm in a medium right now and it feels too big so I want to say they run big Oh yeah, I think nano pool wasn't working, right? Well, it was. It just wasn't work. It was working on east, not uh not west today for whatever reason Extra large for me, that's how I roll.
And then so we don't confuse people when we do this screenshot, let's uh let's make the CPU null. Three hundred and seventeen hash a second. That's not bad, actually. That's better than I thought it was going to be. Much better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Topolis, no, it's a uh, monster ultra zero. I'm rolling back on the on the drinking for the next 90 days. I got to get back in shape. It's been uh took a whole bunch of time off the gym trying to push YouTube and I kind of want to roll back into getting in the gym and and uh getting healthier. My son's 2 now. So he's going to be starting sports and all that shortly, so I need to get in shape enough to keep up with him. XMR stock. We're running stock right now, everything Costco runner. Costco, like Costco, but Costco. Um, Actually, Oh, it didn't spin up a CPU. Interesting. Hey, Bitcoin Jake's in the house. What's up, man? My weight's way down, but I should be able to get back up. No problem. I only took off uh, January and February from the gym. Like, totally, like those two months, I didn't go at all. Pretty much, because um, that's when we were making like a video. Or I say we. I'm the only person that makes videos on this channel. Uh, I was making videos every day. Um, holy shit! Oh, okay. It's not running the GP. It's not running the GPU. Okay. Never mind. That makes more sense then. One. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder why.
doesn't seem to be able to bind to the GPU for Sumo Coin. That's concerning. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got super excited. Now I'm super disappointed. I'm super disappointed with fucking Crypto Night Heavy in general. I think I'm going to have to make a make a the worst decision Sumo Coin ever made, Crypto Night Heavy. Cuz I am not happy with it. Uh, no Costco Rider, but if you hit hit up the Discord, you can always post links in Discord. Thanks for asking too. And then you guys like turtle coin, if I recall correctly. So we'll go do a turtle coin pool. And this is Crypto Knight Light V7. Are you telling me that Discord's not in, not in, not in the uh, description? Discord's in the description. Bridge point point links for the win. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks for checking, Queen City. Is Ravencoin mineable on the RX series? It should be. We are going to look into that, though. Because to be honest with you, I've only been mining Ravencoin on... Uh, on NVIDIA cards. So I haven't tested any... AMD cards yet, but I did see an AMD miner, so we'll have to see. I think it'll be the next one we go hunt down. Tip. Here's a tip for you. Hive OS is better than simple mining. And I'd say in my humble opinion, but it's pretty much guaranteed 
better. So on Crypto Night Light V7, we're pulling off about 597 hash a second. Not bad. Oh, that wattage is super low too. We're looking at about... A hundred and forty three watts. <laughs> Which means we're looking at a total of sixty watts or so. No, what happened? That was weird. Some weird AMD shit. It shouldn't be on a Diablo 3 game title. Says science and technology on mine, TL Gamer. So I did not set the game to that. I don't even have game set right now. I do play Diablo 3 though. It's a great game. It's a badass game. And I have streamed it before. Okay. Yeah, that is really low. So, check that out. The GPU only power draws about 30 watts. Maybe that wasn't right. Can't be that. Hold on. Let me rerun it. That's weird. Also, that's really weird, TL Gamer. I do not know why, because I'd confirmed up here that it's set to category science and technology. So I don't know where YouTube's fucking up there. Anyone see the buy Felicia pick on Discord? No, I didn't. So, ninety two watts, but it does seem to have a little bit of inconsistency because that miner's frozen a little bit a couple times. But there you go, we got Crypto Night Heavy out of the or Crypto Night Heavy, Crypto Night Light, and Monero V7 out of the way. We got Ethereum checked uh, at this point. Let's go grab ourselves. Let's find out. Let's Google Raven AMD Miner. I don't know. There's got to be something, right? What if I just go to Raven Coin site? Uh, Razvan, I'm only allowed to per the affiliate program on Twitch to stream to either YouTube or Twitch. And so the way I handle that is on Twitch, uh, I only stream gameplay. So if I'm gaming, I'm on Twitch. If I'm doing anything else, I'm on YouTube. Hope that makes sense. A lot of people on YouTube didn't like when I streamed games. 
so I still wanted to stream games, so I was like, fine, I'll go to I'll go to Twitch, put it over there. But to make money on Twitch, um, to accept donations or the biddies and uh, get the subscriptions, you have to on Twitch be an affiliate, and then if you're affiliate, you're not allowed to stream to both platforms at the same time. So it's a bummer. It's a bummer. I don't think YouTube is very gaming friendly. Like it is on pre-recorded games. I should say it's not very live stream friendly. It doesn't seem like the people that, I mean it's just not what people come to my channel for on YouTube so I just don't do it and that's all oh there's no mining stuff on here So it looks like they recommend, well, there's three. There's Avermore, which shows a 10% speed up over Ace's SG minor, optimized for X16R and X16S. So I think we're going to go with Brian's. Why not? Seems legit to me. I use SMOS in Hive OS, so I never use this Windows shit anymore. third medic in the house what's up i'm mining on your poor gpu that was a that was a fair trade that's a done deal it's my gpu now <laughs> welcome to the stream man how's it going what'd you think was going to happen to it in the house of soap huh what do you think was going to happen to it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Set up your first master node a week ago on DigitalOcean. Awesome, Iron. Be careful on DigitalOcean. Um, they technically don't allow cryptocurrency stuff on their shit. That's why I used uh, Vulture because they do allow it. Oh, nice. So he's already got this set up. He's got the algo specified, the pool specified. Oh, no, he doesn't have the pool specified. So let's specify the pool. Let's go to mining panda. What port are we looking at? We're looking at port 3636. I don't really care if it uses that address to be completely honest with you. This may take several minutes. <clears throat> I'll accept the hard time disturbed. If you think Hive is better than SMOS, why use SMOS at all? I don't 
really anymore. Uh, the only thing I use SMOS, I have an SMOS boot up, uh, and I use it to show people how to mine new coins on it. I use everything that I can if a time allots to make sure that I can show people how to do everything on every platform possible. If that makes sense. Um, so I, that's why when you watch a how to mine video now, the latest ones, I say, here's how to mine it on SMOS, Hive, as well as Windows. Just trying to cover all the bases to help as many people out as possible. That's all. You're still a fan of Ethos? I'm just not a fan of it. I guess I could try more. I could try more. So it looks like... Wow. That shit. Damn, that's super disappointing. So AMD's really not good at at, at, at So we're going to go look at my 1030 rig cuz I am almost positive a 1030 beats this out. Er. So, no, it doesn't, but it comes dangerously close. These aren't overclocked at all, and they're hitting like 1.5, 1.4 a piece, 1.5 a piece or so. We're getting, I guess it's better. It's, it's significantly, it's about double, not double. It's one mega hash more, but you're talking about, a uh, $70 card versus a card that's running a lot more than $70 right now. But there you go. All right. So let's screen cap this. Ten thirty beats all. I mean, ten thirty is really, really fucking good at Raven. <laughs> like for the price, the ten thirties have been tearing up Raven, Bimby. They really have. Just wanted to pop in and say, hey, you got a ride before you get home? All right, Disturbed. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi, man. I'll probably be on late tonight. Even if I finish this up, I'll probably move to Twitch and play some uh, Horizon. Let's see. So this is Raven. Stock. Two point, 2 2.9. I guess sometimes it's trying to hit three. Raven's so hard to calculate. going up yeah iron real I'm excited for state of decay 2 as well I'll probably primarily play it on the Xbox one X because it's 4k 60 um, but if I buy it on that platform I can switch between PC and the Xbox no problem But 4K60 on a $500 console is fucking sick. That's called good devs.
So it went up to like, now that it's stabilized, we're at like three mega hash a second, which is a lot better. That's pretty damn good. Taking pictures of it. It's running at 149 watts too. So I'm going to run it again, let it hit three, and then screen cap again. I did find an X58 motherboard. It's sitting right over here, YouTube watcher. I traded a X99 motherboard for it. I don't know who got the better deal out of that, to be completely honest with you. So... Ugh... Here is the X58 motherboard that's going to be our Hackintosh. And it's a badass one. It's the EVGA one. Uh, it even has active cooling right there. So pretty stoked on this for sure. So it starts out super low and then it builds up on the hash rate over time. And the reason I say I don't know who got a better deal is I couldn't really, I can't really buy that motherboard. And if you try to go to eBay to buy it, it's like three, four, five hundred dollars. And yet, like, I feel like you could get the, I, I gave them the Asus X99 Strix. It's super nice X99 motherboard, which technically is worth more than X58, but not technically because you can't really get an X58. So, I don't know. I felt like it was a straight trade. Everybody seems happy too, so whatever. So we're getting significantly worse. Raven's just hard to determine what's going on with it. Look at this, our, our uh, power draw. <laughs> it's all fucked up. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> 3,152 watts. Well, boys, this card's dead. There we go. Nah, I mean, it's just not good at it. It's too unreliable. One point eight six, it hit three. It said it hit three, but I'm not believing it ever hit three. It's cranking at a hundred percent right now, and it's at like one point eight three. And you're talking about it pulling a significant amount of power. The 1030s pull like 35 watts a piece. 30 watts a piece. 25 is what it's actually like typically around. So if you, I mean, if you look at the difference there, you're getting a marginal gain for a, for 
about, let's see, so now it's cranking out at 160 watts, um, which means minus the 80 or 90 for idle. There's about 80 watts going through that GPU right now, and it's got about 0.4 mega hash more than a 35 watt card. Yeah, see, that's fair enough. Hey, Colony, saw I was live and wanted to stop by. Long day, need to sleep. Good luck with everything tonight. Thank you, good sir. Means a lot that you stopped by. Hit that like button on your way out, and I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Looks like one of my cards isn't mining. We'll figure that out later. Okie dokie. I think ten. I think I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of ten thirties and mine Raven for the rest of my life. That's what I'm gonna do, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just a whole bunch of passively cooled rate. Uh, just a whole bunch of passively cooled ten uh, thirties, just decked out like across my floor and box fans blowing over them call it call it a day call it a day octo 30 passive you know what i'm talking about okay this is obviously not going above 1.8 and so i'm going to recap this and resave it because the reason i am is I think that first run was inaccurate. I think this is the run. I'm going to just like say stock uh, long average. And then cancel it out from there. Okie doke, boys. It's up to you. We've gotten all the Crypto Knights out of the way. We got ETH out of the way. We got Raven out of the way. What else do you want to see? Equihash? Should we even try Equihash? Doesn't matter. Because <laughs> they're all forking anyways. Or should we do it? It probably needs to be in the video, right? We probably have to test it. Yeah. What is it? Claymore Zek Miner? So, tip, yeah, that's what I heard Zcash isn't. But it was very vague, too. Been mining BTCP on a single card on a 1080? Nice. Our BTCP pool's been doing good. It found like 27 blocks and didn't pay out for a little bit. It's We have to baby it, but we haven't had to baby it like that bad. Our pool, Pearl pool just kind of took a shit. But I never really announced that we got it back up and secured, so I probably should have done that. That's my bad. Shit gets so busy.
I am fine with the default. I guess we could do US one. It's so interesting that they quit taking PayPal YouTube Watcher. The only reason I could think of that is enough people were saying, um, I assume what was happening is enough people were saying that, you know, they weren't getting their product on time and getting their money back. So they wanted to lock people in. So that pool does not look like it's going to work for us. So let's go ahead. And grab a grab a pool. Get a little, you get a little 460 on you for being our top miner, bro. <clears throat> Too many chargebacks, right, Tip? Whoa. Oh, uh, we need to do. all coins what is it gonna be I think that's it I could be wrong all pools oops I haven't really messed with uh, Zcash on AMD, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> uh, I never found it useful. Don't you dare reject my share. Dirty dog. I mean, that's how my marketing department would spin it, YouTube Watcher. I would totally say that pay that's how I would say it. I'd say PayPal doesn't support crypto, so we don't support PayPal. That's exactly how I would I would do that. No, I don't ever use Ether Miner. Alright, hundred and four hash. That's awful. <laughs> there you go 100, 104 hash right there alright boys
Any other any other algos that you want to test? Speak now or forever hold your peace. And then I might the last thing I'll do is I'll I don't know maybe try to flash it for ETH for fun if we can even find a BIOS for it. <laughs> Either mine's fine. That's what I used to tip, but I haven't mined ETH in a long time. Shaw 256. I think I think I'll pass Razvan Razvan. Let's see. RX 460 Ethereum BIOS. RX 460 4 gigabyte Ethereum BIOS. Let's just see if they have any laying around. Or if I'm going to have to build one. I don't want to build one right now. What, what's he got? What tool? There's his settings. Fuck it. Where's the download for this bitch? I did not try NeoScript, Sid. I honestly haven't been do doing any NeoScript because there hasn't been a coin that I wanted to mine on it. All right. So what what is this guy on about on his 14 mega hash? Let's see. Four eight one eight two one six nine eight eight two five. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna do something that I don't ever recommend doing, but we're gonna copy everything verbatim. Do not try this at home, boys. Unless it works, then try it at home. Right? Interesting. Set. Uh, 1950, 900, set. Ooh, 870. Sure, let's crank our fans up. That doesn't matter. I like Watt Tool Raz. It's just up to you, whatever you prefer. Most of the tools will all do the same thing.
Internet man ETH. <laughs> Okay. Let's see if we burn this bitch to the ground. Sure doesn't sound like it's spun up to 3200. It's all set though. Yeah, you might as well. Right, Raz? That's an interesting 7, though. What, 1148 and 900? No, I almost always go through, unless the BIOS doesn't support it, I always go through the BIOS. No, that didn't work. And it is running. You can see it here. The memory is running at 1950. So unless this guy has a BIOS mod that I'm not seeing here. Well, they're unlocking the shaders. Pretty sure no we have 896 so Ooh, go back so let's save our BIOS real quick Baffing. Where are they getting this from, though? Oh, here it is. This one right here. Give me this one.
going to make me run ATI flash. Fuck. Okay. Uh, so there's the unlocked BIOS. Flashing, flashing, ATI flash. That should be right. Hey, BTC Urin, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? That thumbnail, though, I know, right, Canadian? I tried to clickbait to y'all. Y'all are too too smart for that. That sure doesn't seem right to me. Definitely didn't work. What's the force commands again? You like that thumbnail? Mm. Hit that like button if you like that thumbnail. <laughs> uh, this is what we've become trying to keep up with the big boys I didn't put the commands in here. I am a dummy. Because it's like GPU unlock ROM something. not doing anything is it not named ATI flash in here it's named ATI flash I feel like I don't have the right not spitting out anything uh, I'm working on that now BTC can't you see Please don't caps me, bro. Please don't caps me. Yeah, it is not running that at all. But why? But why? I 
I wonder if it makes me run this first. Nope. I don't think that that would be long enough or too long. It usually isn't, but I guess we could just always do this for fun. Throw it right directly on C. Nope. We can't run it from. Never had this problem with ATI Flash. This, uh, I'm not sure what version of ATI Flash this is. But I can grab a new version, which I will probably try to do if this doesn't work here. I'm getting no spit out from my ATI flash at all. That's the oddest thing. I mean, I guess we could try ATI Wind Flash, but usually we'll just still go in and try it. Oh, it's not even launching. I wonder if 1803 blocks it. It does nothing.
There you go, boys. Hey, TI, Wind Flash is not working on 1803. Uh, all right, let's do eight. This is such an old post. I need the new one. This one's newer. No. Oh, I haven't built one of these in forever, but we're obviously going to need to build one. I may need to do a how-to video for everyone, too, because that's a big deal. It's so old, all of these posts. So we need to make a bootable Do that again. HP tool will do that. That's right. Um, I hate you, Softpedia. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. That that just made everything too difficult. Uh cut.
Rufus does have that, doesn't it? Built in. Forgot about that. That's what happens when I'm not thinking. Thanks for the uh, reminder. I'm going to unplug that one because I don't want to get rid of my 1803 build on accident. Because that shit took forever to download. got the bios.rom it should respond to dot rom right i believe so here goes nothing here goes nothing how slow the AMD boards are to post. X470 seems to be a little bit faster. I don't know why this shit always... I don't think it's uh. let me check something Just the drives.
Yeah, it's not coming up on... I tried to bypass the Elgato to see if that was an issue. It's not... Not the issue. I got a P0 state. This would be my second dead X399, dying X399 board if it happens again. Which I'll just fucking be pissed. Well, something else is definitely going on because I'm getting an error P P0 on the motherboard. Oh, the keyboard just went off. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at all. I think it's good. Oh, but I get no Ufi. Hey Jester, welcome to the show. How you doing? I'm not really tired. Don't know why I would look tired. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed that Windows broke ATI flash. And that I now have to flash this card through DOS, but I can't get into DOS because... I have a capture card that I guess doesn't support Eufy, from the best I can tell. So what I'm going to do, I guess, is plug this in here. Need a little need a little note like above here that says be right back flashing currently currently flashing Hey Coon Con Ray I know how to say Ray I think I apologize I probably messed that up Welcome Welcome from Texas Sup coin what's up man No signal, huh? Apparently, apparently this GPU just completely decided to never show the BIOS anymore. Which makes sense because that tends to be what the RX series randomly does all the time. Oh, yes, we got in. So right now, guys, I'm going into, I'm pressing F11 to go into the boot menu. I say that. 
And then I'm booting to the USB stick. And now I'm in the DOS prompt. And all my keys type really, really fast. I need a not mechanical keyboard. Shit. It's one of those nights. Got myself a trusty little basic, basic logic, key, Logitech keyboard here. So we'll just swap it out real quick. No big deal. This is why live streaming this stuff kind of sucks. I don't know if you guys find it entertaining. I hope so. No, it still like types like dir three. It types D like five times. Everything types really fast. Why does it do that? Maybe if I try a different input. show you guys what it's doing. Watch this shit. I just typed it once. So I can't type any fucking commands in. Let me see if it detects this keyboard differently. So you're entertained? Fair enough, Sid. Fair enough. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream, Harold. How are you, man? I'm hoping that, like, with a reboot with this keyboard, it just doesn't do that again. But if it does, I don't. I don't know how I'm gonna type in commands. Yes, this keyboard works. Woohoo! Okay, so. Now we need the command. Let me Google it up here. Oh, so the process goes ATI flash dash AI zero program cannot be run in DOS mode. Are you serious? So I need an Uh, Sid, it says this program cannot be run in DOS mode.
<laughs> I guess I need an older one. What a... What a jet. ATI flash. This program cannot be run in DOS. Here we go. Yeah, it's saying to use an older version of ATI Flash. So... <clears throat> Shit. What a... ton of issues. So what I'm going to do is grab that other ATI flash that we had, I guess, which was the, the older one. I think it was an older one. And then we'll just try this real quick. I, I'm not positive this is an older ATI flash, but I'm hoping it is. Sorry you guys can't see it. It's just the RX 460 will not display out. To an Elgato for the BIOS for whatever reason. I don't really have any control over it. Nope, that one is not old enough, so I need to go find an even older one. Damn it. Wonder how far back I need to go. <clears throat> Cause I need it to support RX still. How far back can we go and it still support RX series cards? Does anybody know? I don't see 2.2. Once it goes below 2.71, it goes to like 4. I don't see a 2.2 in old versions. Let's 
So the versions I got listed here is 274, 271. Hey Brian, it's the it's in the description, but it's the Sapphire RX 464 gigabyte. We're trying to flash it right now. We had some interesting discoveries tonight, which I'll go over as soon as I get, can get past this PETA. Of an issue that I'm dealing with here. Um, I'm gonna go with 2.71. Wait, that's 2015. RX 460 release date. Was 2016. June 20 June 2016. So this July 5th, 2016 should work. Hey Ryan, I only have three rigs. So I got 2.74 said, which says it was made in July of 2015. No, Ryan, YouTube is not my full-time job. Only on nights and weekends, but I bust ass on it, so I spend over 40 hours a week on it. Maybe one day, but it does not make much money at all. I'm a systems administrator. It says it in my About tab on YouTube. Nope, 2.2.74 2 will not run either in DOS mode. Fucking kidding me, aren't you? That's crazy. That just doesn't even make sense. Okay. I don't know, Sid. If you get it figured out, let me know. We're stuck. We have to stop there. I don't have. I do not have a Windows that's old enough right now. I'd have to. I'm gonna have to build a fucking ISO just to fucking do it. What do you mean, are you the only one getting dropped, Ryan? You 
mean frame drops? We should have transcoding right now. Uh, Jonathan, we're not going to be able to pat. We're not going to be able to do it at all, unfortunately. So that really pisses me off, though, because I really wish there was a. So I wonder what Tech Power Up's plan is for that then. Like, what are they going to do? Oh, great. Of course it works now. Look at that. You can see it. Oh, because we're in the DOS mode right now. So, there's the error. Yeah, I would say I think I have one old I have one old drive over here. Ooh. Maybe we could boot to that drive. The tricky part about this is I can't see the BIOS when it pops, so I'll have to do that again, but I have this old drive, and it's an old Windows 10, so we might be able to pop our little selves into here. unplug and plug into the other one though to boot into it what a hassle and then just never update this drive Jonathan, you cannot boot. You cannot USB. Boot. We're on RX 460, first of all. And you could not boot. Uh, you could not run WinFlash in Windows 10 anymore. At all. Won't work in 1803. Um, or 1709. And like you just saw, you can't, you can't run uh, in DOS with the latest ATI Flash that supports RX cards. So, two part problem here. Two part problem. Oh shit, I got it. Oh, that was dumb. What do you mean, Rufus works just fine? We can boot into DOS. That's not our problem. ATI Flash doesn't support DOS.
ATI, the latest or the oldest ATI flash that works with RX cards does not support DOS. That's our problem. And it doesn't work in the latest Windows. Go Google uh, ATI flash won't work Windows 10. First post is confirmed doesn't work for 1803. Like a bowels. So we'll have to see what Tech Power Up decides to do. Alrighty, boys, I think we're into a super old drive. Let's see if you can see it now. I think I booted to the correct one. No, I did not. Fuck. God damn it. Slowest boot ever, dude. No, it's not detecting that drive. Oh, I know why it's not detecting that drive. Because I have a RAID enabled right now, and I have SATA disabled. Son of a bitch. I really hope this doesn't blow away my uh, raid. It shouldn't, in theory. Trying to make sure I don't lose my USB cords so I don't have to move the mic again.
Come on, old hard drive. You can boot. I believe in you. Sure doesn't look promising. I know the drivers are completely wrong. I think there's a 1050 in this system. Four point one seven doesn't support RX cards, Jonathan. But no, I haven't tried it. Try to boot it again, see if this one goes over better this time. I don't know, it sounds like it's having a real hard time. I don't think, I don't know if this, uh, if the, <laughs> I don't know if this, uh, system will come up. Yes, Jonathan. We've been live for like, what, two hours now? First hour is running all the tests. Oh, baby. Did it, did it find the video driver? It fucking found it. Yes. Yes! It's slow as dirt, but as long as it gets us what we need, I don't care. God, it's such an old drive. Um...
I think I searched this and it, it had the whole package. Yeah, here's the package. Wonder what version of Windows this is. Can you guys hear the hard drive? The 1709. I don't know. It depends on which update of 1709 this is. But crossing my fingers, they had the package right here. That's what we want. We want that package. Nice. It ran that. Yes. 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 Mwah. Old ass Raptor drive with an old ass version of Windows. For the win. Yes. So now I got to plug back into the other one. Thanks, Crypto and Gaming. So we're going to not ever update this. I have updates turned off on it. And then I'm just going to label it ATI Flash Friendly. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, then we'll figure it out from there, I guess. I'll make sure it looks okay from this build and then I'm going to unplug it, turn my raid back on and boot back into 1803. Bro. Feels so good. It is the slowest drive though in the world. So I think I want to clone it to an M.2 drive or an SSD. See if we can get that working. So I'll probably work on cloning this drive over to a solid state drive. So we don't have to do this every time. It was just running like an OS that I was using for plotting, so I didn't really care.
Okay, so I'm gonna roll back to, well, I'm a little worried now. Brick our brick our card. <laughs> that would suck. I would not fix it tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't worry if this one breaks the 1030s is still safe. They sure are, Bimby. They sure are. Oh, I didn't reset it, actually. That makes a lot of sense now. Uh, go reactivate my raid. Pray to pray to Jesus. Everything's okay there. But that saved our bacon. Go old versions of Windows that still support good things. Oh, I'm going to bio real quick. I need to pee that whole time. That doesn't look good. We may have to fully rebuild the raid and reinstall Windows because of the way we did that, but we'll see. It might not be able to pick up the... Uh, the raid again after that. That would suck. Oh, sweet. Yes! Okay, good. I guess just another bounce fix that. Let me get y'all video here. Wish that cord would stop falling on me.
It is not detecting the Radeon drivers. Sweet. Well, that might be bad. I did break it already. <laughs> What's up, disturbed? Yeah, I, I, oh, dude. The things, so, 1803 Windows build. No! That's a black screen of death. Did this last time and I had to bounce it and then it figured it out. I need to decap it, right? Um, so, Windows <clears throat> 10 build 1803 doesn't support ATI flash anymore. Disturbed? Learned that. And then I learned that ATI flash, the latest versions that support RX and up, do not support DOS anymore. Luckily, I had this old-ass Windows hard drive over here that I plugged up and got the RX 460 flashed, or I got the shaders unlocked on it. Right now, we're trying to get booted back up, but um, it's being a little funky. I think it'll settle in. I had to, to boot from that, I had to go back into SAD or AHCI mode and turn off RAID, so I think that kind of fucked with my windows install a little bit because I have RAID 0 and VME on it right now so um I think it's a little funky ATI flash running with RX 570 working fine what do you mean in DOS Jonathan Rector, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> then, quick question on that one, though. Are you on 1803? Did you just update Windows this week? Cause you gotta do that full update where you go download the spring update or whatever. You know, I'll have to mess with it more if that's true. Come on. And uh, the RX four sixty won't display through the uh, won't display the BIOS through the Elgato. Disturbed, which is super annoying. Or the Elgato won't display it, or I can't, I don't know which way that works. So I just have to sit here and like wait. Yeah, Jonathan, like that's what I, I mean, that's what I was saying. So right click. If you remember when I right clicked and went into system to check the Windows build, Windows build 1709 is what we just used over there. The creators update, or not creators update, the spring update is 1803. So right click and click system and then scroll down and see what build of Windows you're on. If you're on 1803, um, then I'd be interested because that's the one that doesn't seem to support ATI flash anymore. 1709 still does because it just worked over there when I, that one had 1709 on it. Just more features from Windows getting stripped, seems like.
I'm not sure what to do here because I don't know how long I should wait for it to try to define the device drivers or what. Alright, Disturbed. Enjoy. I think this build of Windows is borked now. I don't know if it's going to come back up. Let me check. Uh, let me check it with the other input, I guess. So the output will work in the BIOS, which tells me Damn, that's gonna suck. I had a feeling that might happen though. Yeah, so that's the same build I had with the windows that we flashed it with, Jonathan. The one that doesn't support it is eighteen oh three. So if you update now, and I'm back in the OS, it just couldn't display through the Elgato. So don't update whatever systems you want to use ATI Flash on, don't update to the spring update. You do not want to update to that. Did the uh, did the adrenaline drivers turn off support? No, oh, hold on, I'm I'm checking.
Yeah, but then you can't play sweet games, Bimby. Okay, a question that has been asked over and over but seems to get different answers. Can you CPU affect system mining? So it depends on the algo, RJ, and how it um, and and how many cards. If you're gonna go with the default ET hash, you can pretty much get away with like the cheapest processor no matter what. And almost as many cards as you want. Um, because the cards are gonna be doing the work. It can affect how fast it starts mining. I didn't have it blocked, Jonathan. Did you not just see me do the entire process on another system? Like I just had 1709, did the entire process of downloading ATI Flash, running it, and flashing it. We're flashed now. So I, I understand how to run it. What I'm telling you is Windows, Windows version 1803 Build 1803 does not support ATI Flash. So if you are planning on using ATI Flash in the future, I'm recommending against in updating to the spring update, which is Windows Build version 1803. Uh, we got around it. We, we oh. used a different Windows. So you're good. You're good. Thanks for the help. I'm just trying to update you so you know where we're at. The cards flashed. We've unlocked the shaders. Right now I'm installing drivers on the build 1803 right now. And hopefully they'll get installed here soon. Um, and then we'll be off to the races. But the reason I couldn't in Windows is because I have the spring update on this system. And then the new versions of ATI Flash that support the... RX cards do not support the DOS mode of flashing. So I wasn't able to flash the DOS mode because of that. And so that's kind of where we're at. Um, so what I had to do was essentially use an old version of Windows 10, which is the 1709, the same one you're, you're doing it from. And then once I did that, we were good to go. Sort of. There still seems to be some sort of issue with the adrenaline drivers. So. And I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so we're going to need to go to AMD and grab the blockchain driver because that one should support this. So I think the other, oh, okay, never mind. I think we're good. It's preparing my graphics card. Oh, yeah, I did clean install. Oh, I'm stupid. I got it. I got it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I would just keep, at this point, if it was me, I'm not touching that build of Windows. I keep that available for ATI Flash and just put a sticker on it or a post-it note that says, do not erase. <laughs> AT, ATI flash drive and just leave it at that and then plug that in and boot to it when I want to flash uh, my AMD cards So it is currently, you have 1709 install USB media. I'm going to keep a clone of it. Yeah, I would do that too. 
Um, I know, like... Hopefully this is the last restart. Sure doesn't seem like it installed it, though, to me. So I'm wondering if it uh if the latest adrenaline drivers don't support it if you unlock shaders, which I never looked up. It might not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does. That's crazy. Or this card is not working. And we'll just have to roll back the BIOS. All the shaders are unlocked. So I guess I can show you guys that while we wait on this. Um, shaders are unlocked there. Um, the adrenaline drivers don't appear to work with... a flashed card, which I do remember AMD saying they weren't going to do that on the new drivers or they were going to block it somehow. And so what I'm curious about, yeah, I'm curious if they did that. So AMD BIOS signature check re-enabled with Relive locks out BIOS modders. So we're all, we're going to install an older driver. Heads up. That's funny. 
AMD's going the way of the green team, bro. They were like, you know those cool things that separate us from NVIDIA? Yeah, let's just get rid of them. Eating the combat crunch. Cheers. Electro FX, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I'm good. I went through a whole bunch of weird shit with uh, flashing this RX 460. But we figured it out. So, you know, learning things. Learning stuff and things. It's never a bad thing. Yes, sir, Tech. All right, we got blockchain drivers installing now. got taco and beer I got calorie free soda and uh, protein bars what's up FSB gaming I don't know what you mean hand over to us please XV I don't know I don't know what you mean. So, that didn't really work. It does not look like that uh, that BIOS flash worked. So it worked like it unlocked the shaders, but it didn't work. It fucks something else up. Sometimes yes, Electro. Sometimes no. Sometimes it'll do stuff like this. Or, I mean, what would be really interesting is we are in the spring update. I do wonder if Windows is blocking that driver somehow or blocking the shader unlock somehow. 
Wouldn't that be a PETA? What I'll probably do What I'll probably do is try it in like Hive OS. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the shaders are unlocked, but something funky is going on with Windows with it unlocked. It won't, it recognizes the card. GPU Z recognizes that the shaders are unlocked. Video output's working, but I just get the little exclamation point next to the driver. And this is the third driver I've tried. It didn't look like it worked. Usually Relive will, it'll say you need to restart, but it'll correct the uh, resolution before you get in. It's not doing it. Yeah, it's, it's not doing it. Out of curiosity, I'll run, um, I'll run the miner real quick. I doubt it's going to do it. I doubt it's going to work, but. Yeah, no resolutions are being shown. Electro FX, just essentially what happened is uh, we, we unlocked the shader cores from like 8 something to 1000 something uh, and Windows 10 won't apply anything. No, not, not related to the DirectX and uh, NetFrame works. It's directly related to the BIOS mod we put on it. Directly related to that. And Claymore won't run. It's not like we don't know what's fucked up. We know exactly what's fucked up. I'll try one more bounce. Bummer. So we went through all that to flash it and literally for nothing. That sucks. I don't really care to wait for that other OS to boot up to flash it again tonight. I think I'll just flash it uh, tomorrow. <laughs> I'll flash it back to its old ROM. <laughs> I guess we got all the testing done. I don't even need to re. I, don't, I mean, well, yeah, I need to flash it back because I'm gonna put this in my Hackintosh. Wonder if the Mac would recognize it with the shaders unlocked. And I do kind of wonder if Linux would recognize it. So I might leave it and test it on both of those things out of curiosity.
Yeah, I ran the clean uninstall, Jonathan. I know you can't see it. Um, I'm going to wait and see if Windows will detect it and do something about it. I mean, it sees it here. Hey, I could try DDU. I didn't try DDU, but I'm pretty positive it's a... Typically, no Electro. There's no difference. Um, Linux is just better <laughs> uh, for mining. There's just less overhead in Linux, really. It doesn't mean it's, I mean, it can still assign the exact same stuff, right? Uh, the exact same tasks, you just have less overhead. We'll do one last ditch effort and try the DDU and if, uh, if an install after DDU doesn't work of the drivers then I'm just going to say to hell with it and um, flash it back tomorrow and be done. That's about it. I mean, the only other thing is seeing if like 1709 would allow me to install the blockchain. Well, I mean, tomorrow what I'll do before I do that, I'll say, is I'll see if booting from Hive OS uh, fixes it or allows it to use all the shaders or if booting from uh, OSX allows it to use all the shaders. Just out of curiosity, really, more than anything.
I'm surprised AMD decided to start doing a BIOS check. But we're not, yeah, I mean, we're on a 17. We're on the blockchain driver right now. That's what we're trying to install. My GTX 1050 Ti was installed by the OS. Is that bad? Like performance? Should you go uh, non WDM? I mean, it's up to you. I, I am a proponent of typically, if it's working, just leaving it. That's how I do it. However, with NVIDIA, they have those game day ready drivers which in some games like if there's a game you're looking to play day one and they have a game ready driver game day ready driver for it then I would get it and try it at least but be be ready to roll back if you need to yeah that didn't work okay okay Uh, bah, 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 bah. I was yeah I was looking at something Electro FX it pretty much says install a fresh version of Windows which I am not gonna do tonight I mean that that's the only thing I could try I'm gonna clean and shut this bitch down we're gonna call it we got all the numbers we needed, so that's really all that matters. Um, let me pull. Let me pull the files off that I need. No, it's gonna it's gonna shut down before I can. That's okay. Well, no, it's not. I need to boot it back up and grab that. 
Romeo5, I'm going to play, be playing some games over on twitch.tv slash silentech underscore, man. So you're welcome to come hang out over there. I'll probably play till 2 a.m., 3 a.m., something like that. The link is in the description below. I'm going to go grab these files though before I call it. It's 9.07 there. Nice, it's midnight here. All right, Bimby, have a good one. All right, all my files are moved over. So, we can just shut that bitch down. Well, I guess the, the end of the stream had not that much content, so I apologize for that, guys. Uh, if you don't mind hitting the like before we go, and thanks everybody for watching, I am going to head on over to twitch.tv slash underscore, gonna be playing some Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, which is kind of what I wanted to do all night. Instead, we did this, so I had fun. Hope you guys learned something. I learned a few things, so hope you, hopefully you guys did as well. And I'll see you next Tuesday.